Good morning and welcome to the Eccentric Man channel. Well, it's a month. It's a Tuesday morning. Uh, the sun's shining here in the UK, so feeling good. Uh, what I thought I'd post up was my list for a Cam's Bridge Too Far, which is this coming Saturday. It's a 1,000 points, one day, three game tournament. And I'm taking the Bastards of Bataan-ish. Uh, it's an early US army, and uh, I'll run through it for you. Uh, I've got a game, first game, grudged with Paul Walker from warhq.com. You can catch them on the uh, internet, but I'll put a link to his channel below. He's tried to do a weekly uh, roundup of bolt action and bolt action news and features, so we'll give him a shout out. Uh, he's uh, another member of the Wahoo Warriors patron community, so uh, if you haven't seen them before, please check out Wahoo Warrior. Some great video back reps on there. Uh, and some interesting stuff from the States. And so we'll we'll run through what we've got. So let's have a look. It's two rifle platoons. So uh, let's have a run through and go through in, in detail. Let's hope the camera can focus in nicely. So what have we got first up? We've got a second lieutenant, Marines, a veteran, two machine guns, submachine guns, a... Second Lieutenant Inexperienced for the American Army. I've got Veteran Snipers. And then I've got four units of six Inexperienced American Infantry. Three of the units have the NCO with a submachine gun, the rest are all rifles. I've then got two US Marine Early War Squads, so maximum you can take is eight men, but they have two bars two submachine guns, two rifles, and the NCOs has a submachine gun. Because of that, what you find in the Empire in Flames book, the uh, Americans can take war dog teams if they take US Marines. So uh, I've got here two war dog teams. They're veterans and tough fighters. Uh, I'm a great greyhound lover and help with a greyhound rescue. Uh, couldn't find any uh, greyhounds, but I had to make do with a GSD and a Doberman. Uh, those figures came from Bad Squido Games, so a shout out to Annie, and I'll put a link to her site below. So running into the far right hand side, I've got a regular medium mortar with spotter, and my armoured mechanised component is two Stuart M3s, so they've got the light anti-tank gun and three medium machine guns, and I've got the half track with the heavy machine gun on it. So that's my list. Uh, I think if you add it all up it comes to 15 dice. So which is uh, quite uh, astounding for me. I usually run Germans. It's either my DAC or my late war Germans. Uh, and they usually run around between 11 to 12 dice. So this one's pushed up to 15 uh, and we'll see how that runs. So as I say, the first game is uh, against Paul. What we're trying to do is hopefully uh, do a video back rep on it. Uh, it will give us a little bit of time to run into lunch if needed, uh, and we'll see what we can do. And then we can post it up on his channel and my channel, and we'll uh, we'll cross-link it. So uh, I'll uh, do, try and do some videos uh, of the the tables, and again I'll put up a an overall summary of the the three games that I did, and some pictures of the armies if I can get them, and the tables. So it should be a good day. Looking forward to it. My friend Colin, who I play against with the uh, Imperial Japanese, is going along. My other friend Rob, I uh, haven't got a battle, battle uh, rep with him, but I'm hoping to because um, I've now got my dining room back. The dining room has been my daughter's bedroom and the conservatory has been their living room uh, for a while, but they've now moved into a flat and I've got it back so I can put up a table, hopefully get Rob to have a game uh, and we're also another friend Gary who's just getting into the hobby. Uh, we'll get him to get a game hopefully and run it. So there's the... Uh, American list for me for a Cam's Bridge Too Far. Looking forward to it. Uh, I will be wearing my American Marine cap. So if you see me, come along and say hi. And uh, it'll be great to meet up with people. So looking forward to it and seeing you. Uh, see you then. Once again, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. And if you like the video, like and share and uh, subscribe. Uh, and we'll get more content up as we go along. So uh, thanks very much for listening and uh, see you next time.